Good morning, Sagittarians. Hello, everybody. I apologize. I'm so late. I came back. Um, I was out of the country. Um, my birthday's tomorrow. So I'm, you know, emotionally getting prepared for that. Actually, that's not really what's delaying me. I have a major surgery in six days. So that's what's really been messing my mind up this week. So I will, um, I, I, yeah. So that's that. I just wanted to let you know there is a legitimate reason I'm running really late this week. All right, extended read again, Sagittarius. I uh, So get comfy, comfy, get your favorite adult beverage, and we shall do this. Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the main deck, Tarot the Abyss for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Ten of Swords reverse and an Ace of Wands reverse. Frustration, that feels. Frustration. A Ten of Swords reverse is something that just won't get out of your life. Aggravation, Emperor reverse. Ooh, Three of Cups. Yeah, it's it's a sag, saggy read, I guess. Ace of Wands reverse. There's the Queen of Pentacles and the King of... You got a King of Swords reverse and an Emperor reverse. That's two out of three Narcissist cards. Who are you guys dealing with? Satan? Let's see what's going on here, Sag. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag. If you like being a Sag, Sagis, I'm glad you're here. You can be a Sagittarius and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story and Sagittarius could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about you or for you, Sag. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages for my lovely Sagis. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Alrighty, 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 okay. What are the messages for Sagittarius? Let's tap into that energy. Let's tap into the energy here. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. Boom, of course it is. What's influencing the Knight of Cups? Page of Pentacles. That's good. What's the reason for the reading? Wheel of Fortune reverse, that's not good. What's in the past? The King of Wands, Leo. Interesting. What's on your mind? Ooh, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. I love it. I love these two cards here. I actually, all of this is really good. Near future. King of Pentacles. Sagittarius, that's amazing. How do you currently see yourself? How do you currently see yourself? The chariot. Look at the majors, actually. Look at that. Well, three, but gosh, you got some king power going on here. The chariot is romantic but it's successful it's been a bumpy ride but you are persevering and overcoming a very difficult time what is the energy coming in you don't see coming what is the energy coming in Sagis don't see coming the three of swords libra what are in your emotions i knew it i knew it you know why because i'm looking at this and it's parallel two of cups you got three energies you and two other people and i feel like somebody tried to hold you back from this but nothing's gonna stop this from taking off you know what i mean there's real love here i mean i feel like you got somebody who would do anything for you and then you got somebody who thinks you're coming back wheel of fortune reverse what's the outcome What's the outcome here for Sag? The Queen of Pentacles. Look at this, near future King of Pentacles, outcome Queen of Pentacles, true pair, two of cups, Cancer. It, I really feel like, the bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Cups. You have old and new in love with you. Ooh, 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 ooh. But there's only one person you choose beside yourself whoever this is, I feel like there were, there's somebody that would do anything for you, Sag. You have, you have a really good person here. I love it. I'm keeping that Ace of Cups out. Well, we shall just focus on that. And I feel like some of you, that's what you've been focusing on to get through this. 
And it took a while to get through this, but you're finally coming out on the other side. Knight of Cups, center of the reading, Pisces energy. Knight of Cups, center of the reading. That's a, Knight of Cups is a very romantic energy. It really is. It is. It's the romantic of the deck. What's this Knight of Cups, center of the reading? And the Eight of Pentacles reverse, Virgo energy. What's influencing the Page of Pentacles? Or what's influencing the Knight of Cups is the Page of Pentacles. What is that? And the Ace of Wands reverse. This is what I'm talking about. This, somebody feels like you're actually going to come back to them. But why would you come back and leave this good stuff? And yes, they're heartbroken. But why do they think if they cause a big enough disturbance, it's like they just, I really feel like you got somebody who's trying to get back on your radar. And as long as you think of them, you can't fully leave them. And they don't want you to forget them because I don't feel like they, they're over you. I really don't. And then you got somebody in who would do anything for you. Wheel of Fortune reverse reason for the reading. What's this Wheel of Fortune reverse reason for the reading? Eight of Cups reverse, Pisces. Yeah, somebody just can't let you go. I'm, I, I, I hate to say it, but it is what it is. But you got a King of Wands in the past, Leo energy. Five of Wands reverse. Five of Wands reverse, Leo energy. And I feel like there's somebody that would help you along the way. Somebody who, I mean, a King of Wands is a very passionate, very sexy, dynamic, confident energy. But I feel like this person makes it easier for you to deal with this. You know what I mean? The magician on your mind, Virgo, Gemini energy. What is this magician? Two of Swords reverse. Two of Swords reverse is coming out of that in between and ready to leave something behind. And somebody's giving you their, it's like they lend you their strength to get out of this situation. But the problem is, is they, this person doesn't want you out of their situation. Even if you're physically not there, I don't even think you've been physically there. They just don't want you to forget them. So they're going to create whatever disturbance. And I get a disturbance. So you have to think of them. King of Pentacles in the near future, Taurus energy. What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, I feel like this person's helping you let this go. See this Three of Pentacles, how you have two hands holding a rope. One person just won't let go of that rope. The rope is frayed. The time is up. And I feel like the time is really up because now the rope broke and that person is falling back. Reminds me of those in elementary school, you know, when you play tug of war, sometimes you just want to let go of the rope and lose just to watch the other team fall. I feel like somebody's helping you let go of this rope because this person will not, they keep trying to pull you back into their abyss. The chariot, how you currently see yourself getting out of this situation. What's this chariot and the temperance. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? There you are. And guess what it is? Two of cups in your emotions. Two of cups. I feel like, yeah, this is, I feel like something is really starting to pick up steam and move forward. Almost feels like if this person's been in your life, I feel like they're ready to take that next step with you. And they know in order to do that, some somebody has to be cut off. And I feel like they're actually helping you with that. Three of swords energy coming in. You don't see coming. Libra and energy. What's this three of swords about? And the two of cups. You have old and new in love with you. I, I'm, I'm not even kidding. And I do feel like this person's um, in pain. Watching you be with someone else. I'm sure it's painful. It's, it's, it's not funny. It's, it's, it's not, you know what I mean? It's just not. But nothing they're going to do is going to stop this and nothing they're going to do is ha going to have you come back to their insanity. It's just not. And I, yeah, three of swords is heartbreak. So why is this coming in? You don't see coming probably because you got a page of pentacles right over here. So I feel like, let's see, let's get one more card, two of cups and the three of swords. And the Ten of Wands reverse. You're, they're afraid 
you're going to leave them forever. Ten of Wands, see, uphill, it's been an uphill battle deal with this person, but you're dropping it. So it feels like something's finally coming to an end with them, and they just can't handle it. Two of Cups in your emotions. Two of Cups in your emotions. Death Reverse, Scorpio. King and Queen of Cups, isn't that beautiful? Two of Cups is Cancer, Death is Scorpio. Death Reverse and Two of Cups. And then the good news coming, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is good news. It really is going to, and it's funny because in this, she's looking at the star above her, and I feel like something's ready to descend on you, like the news you've been waiting for. It's like such a relief. But I'm telling you, as soon as you find this out, I feel like your life chariot begins with this energy. You know what I mean? The Queen of Pentacles in the outcome and the Ten of Cups. Now, how beautiful is this? Somebody's pulling you towards them, you know, and some of you might even move with this person, but or you're pulling them towards you, but it's sun. There's the sun in the background. And I what I love about this is in this depiction, it's not a rainbow. So it doesn't imply there was necessarily a storm, but it just feels like you're ready to go from that moon energy into the sun. So somebody was there for you. And I feel with the Queen of Pentacles, now there can be some real investment going on here. Five of Pentacles reverse and Eight of Wands. Five of Pentacles reverse is getting your groove back. It's getting out of debt. It's having more money in your pocket. It's just a feel good energy. And Eight of Wands reverse and the sun right there. I think somebody tried to block your sun by overcasting their moon energy, their depression, their sadness. But the chariot oversees it and the chariot is always heading towards the sun when it's depicted so i love it i feel like this person tried to prevent this or try to stop it and they lost you but i feel like you gave everything to them and they could have had you but they screwed it up so they can only should be mad at themselves but you do have a real live one here like a really good one that would do anything for you and i i mean you don't need me to tell you where you should invest your energy i think you're already investing over there but I'm this person is having a hard time letting you go. And some, some news that's going to be good for you, they're going to find out that whatever they've been holding on to, they're going to have to let go because that rope is finally breaking. They, you know, so something's finally coming to an end here. All right, my loves. That was a quick extent. How is that so quick and extended rate? Straight and to the point. I, yeah, I don't mind those actually. So, Saggies, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you kids later. Take care.